Okay, so now that we have installed PHSense, let's go to the browser and configure it. The default IP address is always uh, 192.168.1.1. And it's using HTTPS. It does not recognize the certificate. So click on advance and proceed to, uns to the uh, web GUI. Type in uh, username, admin, and the default uh, password is pfsense. Go through the wizard, click on next. Again, next. We'll give this uh, the name uh, GW and the domain we'll call this lab one. It says here use the DNS servers uh, provided by the ISP. Uh, I'm gonna click this no and check this and give my own DNS server, which for cloud players. And the secondary was 1.0.0.1. Click next. Uh, time server hosting is fine. I'm in Melbourne, so Australia, Melbourne. Time zone next. We will leave the WAN interface as GHCP for now. Then we'll change it later uh, to PPOE. Click on next. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about changing the IP address because as you'll recall, I listed the IP address as 10.45.80.1 for VLAN uh, 80 so, and this is the LAN uh, interface so I'm going to set that as this and the subnet mass is 24. And it says this is where it wants to, you to change. Uh, the default password. I give it a password. And this will change the password. Finish the wizard. Accept the license agreement. Now you notice we changed the IP address, but it hasn't been updated yet. So what I'll do is refresh this. And while that is refreshing, I will go here and check the connection information for this. It's still the old one, so I'll uh, refresh the network. Disconnect. Connect back. And then type in the new uh, IP address. Advance, proceed to the unsafe one. And type in the new password that I just changed. There you go. Now we've got the new LAN address. The first thing we gotta do is I'm gonna go and create a lag interface. As you can see, uh, there are two uh, network ports on the mini P PC, EM0 and EM1. EM0 is assigned to WAN and the EM1 is uh, on to the LAN. But when you go click on the lag interfaces tab and try to add one, there's nothing in the list uh, box listed uh, to, for to choose the parent interface because we, I only have two on this machine and both of them are used. So in order to create a lag interface, I will have to disable one. And there's a trick to this. You have to do a bit of juggling over here and there. So I'll show you how to do that. First things first, you gotta go and create a VLAN interface. I'm going to create all the VLANs on the EM0 interface. Call this 79. And this is going to be the VLAN for the WAN interface. 
again we're gonna go here same interface em0 the vlan tag would be 80 and this is going to be lan i'm going to set this as the lan later on and then add another one and i'm going to call this uh 81 and this is going to be for the wi-fi network and again 82 this is going to be the server vlan and then uh 83 i think next one is 83 and that would be for the dmz and last this should be uh 84 and this should be for tor there you go and then i'm going to go back to the interface assignments and first i'm going to change the wan and i'm going to go down here on the wan 79 and then click on save this might take a while to load so let's just give it a few minutes and it's done we switch the wan interface to on the vlan 79 now let's go and add the lag interface there you go since it's freed up the uh, em0 inter uh, interface i can create one now just on this interface as a uh, parent interface so what kind of a lag protocol are we going to use can't use lacp because uh, the switch does not support it it has to match the switch uh, one and the load balance is the one i'm going to use because uh, i want to balance the load uh, on my switch and there's another ro round robin and a failover i'm not going to create a failover I'm going to use both interfaces. So, so far we got this lag interface and let's give it a description. I'll call this trunk and click on save. Now I have to go into the VLANs and change all the VLANs parent interface to the lag zero. The, the new one that I just created. So go back to EM1. Uh, there you go. There's lag zero. Click on save. This is going to take a minute. And I'll do the uh, same for the, the other ones as well. Lag zero. The reason I'm trying to do this is uh, I'm trying to clear up all the EM uh, interfaces and move them on to the lag interface. So I'm going to do this one by one. There you go. And the last thing we need to do is since I'm connected to the EM1 port, uh, I'm going to have to change the LAN interface on to the VLAN number 80. Now remember, as soon as I click on save, uh, I'm going to lose connection. So what I'm going to do is then after that, I will unplug my ethernet cable from the em1 and then plug it into em0 where all the LAN vlans are uh, assigned as soon as i do that i will lose connection just gonna wait a second for it to uh, send it through and i've already lost connection so, next thing to do would be close the window, 
unplug the Ethernet cable from EM1 and plug it into EM0. And now I have to go into edit connections, delete the Ethernet interface. Since the EM0 port is the parent interface for the lag interface and all the VLANs are assigned to the lag zero interface, I will have to, in order to access the PFSense dashboard on the LAN GUI, I will have to create a lag interface and then a v, on top of that, a VLAN interface. So click on uh, under the network manager. You create a bond interface on Ubuntu and Linux machines. Uh, especially the, the Debian distros, a lag interface is also known as a bond. Create. And I will select the mode. It's one of these two. This is LACP. It won't work because uh, we don't have LACP on uh, dynamic link aggregation uh, on the switch. So we will click on this, I'm sorry, uh, the adaptive transmit load balancing. And then we're going to add a slave interface, a slave inter, uh, ethernet interface, automatically connect to this network when it's available. Uh, all users may not connect to this network because it's a, a slave interface. And the device for the Ethernet would be my onboard motherboard uh, network interface. Uh, this one. This is the only one that I have. And then click on save. And I don't think I need IPv6 seconds. And we're not going to connect to this as well. So all users may not connect to this network. But I wanted to uh, connect to this when it's available. So it's actually active. Click on OK. And then we'll click on, on top of that, we'll create a VLAN for the LAN interface. Great. We'll choose the bond as the parent interface. The VLAN ID is 80. So we'll give this the LAN uh, interface, uh, the name, uh, the VLAN, and we'll say all users may connect to this and automatically, automatic, automatic, everything's fine. And I click on save. That being done, I am going to uh, disable networking and then enable networking backup again so it gets a new uh, IP address. And it's enabled. And let's go check the connection information. Uh, let's see what IP address did I get. Hmm, I didn't get any. Sometimes there's an issue. Disconnect. And then we'll connect again. Uh, sometimes I have to restart the whole system because the, uh, the driver won't load. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, put a stop uh, here. And then I'll come back and uh, show you how to connect the VLAN again. Okay, so I've uh, rebooted my uh, Windows, uh, my desktop client, and also the PFSense router from the console menu. And now let's see if I can access uh, the web dashboard, the PFSense dashboard. It was on 10.45.80. One, see if that works. Okay, it works. Admin, password. There you go. There's one last step to do, is, and that is to add the remaining uh, EM1 interface to the lag uh, interface as a slave to the lag interface. EM0 was already selected. 
and now I'm going to select EM1 both and as soon as I press the save button I'm going to lose connection because the both both the ports are now lag uh, static lag aggregate uh, aggregate interface so here you go now that's done I'll close this out go back to my network uh, connections and delete the VLANs and the bond because I won't be needing this now create and back I've deleted all the interfaces on the desktop now I'm going to create and restore my ethernet connection that I had before now there's no need for a VLAN or a bond click on general IPv6 I'm not using IPv6 so also ignore DHCP is fine and click on save and then close now the next thing to do is configure the router okay now let's go check the notes okay so now we've uh, created a lag interface with em0 and em1 as slave ports and just to review how we did that let me go through that again we assumed that the WAN was on the em0 interface and the LAN was on the em1 interface we created all the LANs first on EM0. Then we set the VLAN 79 as WAN. And then we create a lag interface. Since once we set the VLAN 79 as WAN, the EM0 port is freed up. So that way we can create a lag interface as EM0 as its first uh, slave member. And we keep created a lag interface of type load balance because this is a st uh, our switch is static link aggregation only it, it does not have LACP so we have to make sure the uh, lag interface is of type load balance which is a static aggregation same as the one on the switch and uh, we assigned an unused network device EM0 which was to it then we set all the VLANs on the lag interface and then we set the VLAN 80 as WAN. I'm sorry, uh, the VLAN 80 as LAN. I'm sorry. Uh, this should be LAN. And once we did that, we lost connection to the PFSense dashboard. And then we plugged in the Ethernet cable from EM1 to EM0 to access the PFSense dashboard again. Because once we lose connection, we have to go back to that. And before we can access the dashboard, we have to set on our uh, desktop client we have to create a bond interface which of type adaptive transmit load balancing which is the same as the load balance on pfSense with a single ethernet port as a slave port and on the client we created a vlan 80 interface on the bond 0 interface and then we tried accessing the pfSense dashboard again which did not work so the bond driver wasn't loaded so i had to reboot my desktop client and then i came back and i also rebooted uh, my pfsense router from the console menu and then i came back act tried to access the pfsense dashboard and it connected and then i added em1 to the lag zero interface as a member port and as soon as i did that i also lost connection now both em0 and em1 at this point are slave members of the lag zero interface now we've completed our lag interface then i'll plug in the two ethernet cables and from em0 to em1 and i'll plug them into from the pfsense router to my switch's trunk port port 7 and 8 on the managed switch so as you can see here, I'm done configuring the uh, router and I've hooked up the two Ethernet cables going into the uh, switch. And the next thing I'll do is I'll go and configure the switch. Just in case you can't seem to get the web GUI working on the switch, you may have to do a factory resets. And to do that, the factory resets is over here. There's a 
uh, you see that small uh, hole in there it says reset you have to press and hold with the paper clip for 10 seconds and the lights all go off and that's when it's factory reset so just in case i'll do that and then i'll go back configuring the switch thanks for watching don't forget to like the video and subscribe if you want to really support this channel and also check out the affiliate links in the description below